So now I'm just going to illustrate how the Hive Defender actually works and draws anything that doesn't belong to the Hive to the trap underneath the floor. Now the Beast Blocker is essentially a robbing screen. Now in this setup, it's currently stopping anything from entering and exiting the Hive. These paddles, all you need to do is lift one up. Now the bees are able to come out and up and out. But what it does is with these vents in the front, anything that is trying to get into the hive that doesn't belong is smelling the hive at the entrance, but doesn't realize that it needs to go up and over. And that is how the floor slows and stops anything that doesn't belong to the hive from robbing the hive, but the bees that belong to the hive know how to go in and out. And what this does is it draws the wasps and or robbing bees to the trap where we have the natural smell of the hive exiting through the cones in the trap. This further gives anything that doesn't belong to the hive the attraction to go around under the floor and into the trap. So this is just a visual aspect of what the wasps would be smelling and the smells going down through the vents into your trap which is on the other side of these vents. The smells goes into the tray and then the wasps are drawn to the smell from the outside of the hive. Go in and simply try and get up into the hive and this is how the trap works. Cool, so now we're just going to illustrate how the beast blocker works and how the floor traps um, and catches wasps. Once the bees figure out how to actually work it, they just land on the face of the box and go down or they land on the edge of the lip here and go down and anything that doesn't belong to the hive or bees and or wasps that are trying to get in will walk along the face as this is where the most prolific smell of the hive is emitting through the grill of the beast blocker. So what I'll do now is I'll step back and you'll be able to see a large number of bees go onto the beast blocker. And it just illustrates how the bees are actually interacting with the beast blocker, landing and going down into the hive. Cool, so we'll just show you how the wasp trap works. Just lift it out and you can see what you're actually catching. You can also monitor your Varroa count. You can see I've got three Varroa mites in there and see how my spring Varroa treatments are working as well. So this is helping my apiary in regards to reducing my wasp count as well as keeping my hives alive from robbing, especially in spring and autumn when it's most prolific. Yeah.